Shiro Lazar backstage at VidCon with Andrew Wong from Songs to Wear Pants To. What's up? Hey. <laughs> How was it on stage? We had an on stage moment. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. It was. The moment and everything else. I know, you did such a fun performance. What went into deciding what you were going to perform? I have um, a lot of favorites of the ones I've done, so I picked a lot of those, and I just wanted to do a variety of stuff too, so lots of different genres, and trying to cram them all into 15 minutes or whatever it was yeah. that I had. And How do you remember all those songs, all the words to them? Actually, most of my songs I totally forget because I write so many of them, so when I do something like this, I have to go relearn them. <laughs> yeah. How many songs do you write? Like, Give us a sense of how many you have. Um, I've probably done two to three hundred a year. Wow for the past while, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, just constantly. And some of them are like so short, so it doesn't take that long. But oh, yeah. So yeah, you were talking on stage how you've made that transition from your site, which you already had a, a big fan base, to YouTube. What went into that decision? Uh, just seeing how much more YouTube could be shared around, like on social media and stuff like that. And um, when I was first doing the website, I kind of didn't want to be seen. I, f I felt like it'd be really interesting to see what, like. A lot of people come up to me and they say, oh, you know, I thought you were like a 40-year-old red-haired guy. <laughs> like, they j I just like the idea of being able to appreciate the music without having any kind of uh, personality attached to it. And then after that, after doing that for a few years, I kind of felt like, no, it'll be more fun if yeah, I can. you're kind of a young, cool guy. <laughs> yeah, I look all right on camera, so uh, I decided to do it. And then what about the, the big song that hit, went viral? Yeah, so... Pink Fluffy Unicorns is a song that I made that it's it was like just... the song that's meant to go viral. You put like unicorns and rainbows yeah, and a video and a, and, and a song on YouTube and it's gold. Yeah, well, I was totally not expecting it to get as big as it did, but um, that was actually a huge part of why I started focusing on YouTube more because um, from that I was able to meet awesome people like Hank Green, Corey Vidal, like all these cool people who do YouTube. Um, as their main thing, yeah. and that really encouraged me that I could do it as well. So is it, is it cool being here and meeting all the other YouTubers? Because in Toronto, do they have meetups like this? We have some meetups yeah. with all the Canadian uh, YouTubers, which are fun, usually yeah. uh, in Toronto. And uh, But there's so many more people here, and it's really exciting to get to meet everyone, yeah. And what is it like performing in person? You know, people are used to it on YouTube. I like it a lot in person. Um, so there's just so much energy with the crowd, and. It's not possible to leave a hater comment, so it's great, yeah. Only afterwards, or while they're live tweeting or yeah, something. Exactly, exactly. I don't have to see it. All right, so what's next for you? I'd just like to keep making even more songs and hopefully um, co collaborate with a lot of people and just have fun. Well, you're yeah. so talented. It was really great watching you upstage, on stage, upstage, upstage. No, <laughs> I was like, what am I saying? Upstage everybody. Upstage yeah. everywhere here at VidCon. Okay, come back to youtube.com slash VidCon for more amazing interviews. See you soon with rainbows and unicorns.